I'm Katie Singley. Um, I'm the Naugatuck 2020 Teacher of the Year. And this is my ninth year teaching here at Hillside Intermediate School in Naugatuck. I love connecting with the kids. I like this age group. At this age, they can have conversations. They're just starting to think for themselves. It's fun to watch them discover something or uncover something. It's amazing to watch them get mad about the, treat the mistreatment of other people and then want to do something about it. What was worth fighting for? That was the question we talked about in fifth grade. What's worth fighting for? We talked about Colin Kaepernick. Yeah. We talked about Malala. I think we talked about some other people, Jackie Robinson, people who fought for things to, um, fought for their own freedom despite what might happen or who might say things. A lot of them haven't left Naugatuck. They don't know what's beyond here, beyond Connecticut. So to bring the world to them is, is really exciting. So right now we're starting in the Middle East and um, that's also interesting to watch them try to make sense of some of the turmoil that's happening there and comparing it to their own lives. How do you think the old woman feels now that somebody who speaks her language is now taking the time to help her? What do you think? What do you think, Jordan? She feels more it's fun to have her as a teacher because she's funny and she does different kinds of things that makes us laugh. We all love her so much because she does so many different things for us. She does read us books and we like the books that she picks out because sometimes they're really funny. My favorite lesson that we learned was we had to write a letter to this king like if we were working for the king and we had to say like, things about the different land. My favorite memory is when we made our time capsule last year. We put notes to our future selves and we put things that we liked inside of it. She's the best teacher I've ever had. One of my favorite lessons is something that we learned at a, a workshop a couple years ago about the rubber extraction in the Congo and the kids uncover the fact that there was the Congolese Holocaust and the kids are like, I've never heard of this. I never knew this has even existed. They've heard of the Holocaust that happened in uh, during World War II, but giving them some history about things that have happened in Africa, it's a cool inquiry activity. They love it and they, they get mad. I don't like when the kids get mad, but I like watching them react to the injustices. They get so enraged about how other people are mistreated. And that's building empathy in our kids and we need to have more of that. When they see other things being unfair, like the lack of rights in North Korea versus the rights that we have here, you know, they can make a, a connection to themselves. Like, I'd be so mad if I didn't have my phone or the internet and that's where they are in their world. And trying to educate them about, we were allowed to speak your mind, we encourage that, but children your age, other places in this world are not. She's sweet, she's kind, she helps us through all our problems. She's the most kindest person I ever met. She's the world's best teacher. She respects everybody. Ms. Singley helped me read more fluently because when I came into her class last year, I was really nervous to read in front of her because I knew I'd get it wrong. And now I'm perfectly fine with reading in front of her because I can read way more better. My favorite memory with her is the Time Castle because she's been there and I wrote a lot about her and how funny she was. I <laughs> hope that when students leave my classroom, they take with them the idea to listen to both sides of the story. And I really hope that with that, they leave here a little bit more empathetic and curious to want to help and to do whatever they can to make themselves better and wherever they are a little better. It's amazing. She makes many jokes. Um, Miss Singh is one of the best teachers I've had and that says a lot because I've had many great teachers. She's fine embracing people's mistakes. Like she'll help you work through it. And it's fun also you can like just talk with Miss Singley and she'll be fine with it and you can actually embrace how you feel. She always helped me try to stay on top of being more organized and I'm working towards that goal this year too. We, we did a jelly bean thing and she was being the queen, queen of England and she gave us all jelly beans and what, basically she would tax us for using the bathroom, writing papers. I'm looking forward 
or learning many things. I know Miss Singley is going to make it as fun as possible. My advice to new teachers starting out is definitely ask for help. I think that I'm only the teacher I am because I ask every day, today even, for help from my colleagues. And to respect the fact that you don't know everything. We don't know everything and you have to appreciate your colleagues who know something um, and how something works. Whether it's about a scenario or a lesson, it's really important to, to seek that help out and to reflect. You have to reflect. I reflect every day. Oh geez, what I do? I, how, how can I make that better? Or how can I do that better tomorrow? I think the importance that teachers have for our kids is to, to listen to them. They, they're going through a lot. They're, I think they're a different world than when we, we were kids. And they're exposed to a lot more right now. They need us to understand that and to appreciate them and who they are and what their world is around them. And if they know that, then they're gonna they're gonna want to help you, help themselves and, and want to learn for you and work for you. If they know that you care and you understand, I listen to them. I talk to them. Um, I think these first September is tough because the kids don't know you yet. They're it's still like a rocky area. They they're not sure yet. We know we ask our kids to a lot to go and trust the adult in the room when you don't know that person yet. Um, so I think that we have to listen and give it time and talk to them, write to them. They'll write to me, write back and just, and just let that relationship blossom into what it can be. And they'll take what they want from me. Some kids don't want a relationship. They just, whatever, you're here to teach and that's it. But some of them would seek that out, that extra support or guidance. And that's what we're here for. And that's what I'm here to do for them. I love teaching in Naugatuck. Naugatuck is, is a very special place and these teachers around here in this school system in Hillside, um, they love these kids. They, they're here for these kids. They, they want to help them grow. They want to help them be the best they can be. And I'm a parent in Naugatuck and I see it at Maple Hill School where my kids are. They are getting a phenomenal education at Maple Hill and I can't, I can go on and on about Every experience I've had with colleagues in Naugatuck, other schools, going beyond uh, asking for help in your building, other teachers in the district, everybody wants to succeed and wants the best for our kids and wants to break down that stereotype that Naugatuck doesn't have a good school system. That makes me mad when people say that. And I could, if I can share to everybody how great this place is and how much these teachers are dedicated and educated to help our kids be the best they can be. I think what makes Naugatuck schools better than other places is that we we are devoted to this community and these, these educators in this community are devoted to their their kids and their communities and where they come from and their background and their past. And there is that family, um, this family feeling that, that you have here and they wanna take care of our kids. And that isn't like that everywhere else. It's a job, you come, you educate and you leave. In Naugatuck, it's not like that. There's no feeling that our kids have that they don't feel like they belong here. And I feel like that's a theme throughout the schools. It's definitely a unique place to be and special place. And I wouldn't want my kids going anywhere else but here.